Today, I would like to talk about four different principles that have stood out to me. The four principles today are summarized in the following words, honor, slow down, serve, golden rule. First is honor. Honor is a form of worship. It is literally to emulate. When we honor God, we emulate Him. We learn His law and live in accordance with it. Slowing down, the Aesop fable comes to mind of the hare and the tortoise. When we are trying to win a prize, we should be diligent in winning that prize. We should plod along. Yet, the human nature is to race to the end. I'm reminded of our our boys. Often, we, in recent years, we have said, hurry up, let's go. Let, I'm going to beat you. And are you going to beat me? Or we have this kind of race to get them to move a little faster, to change their clothes and whatnot. But with this idea, of slowing down that I got from Robert A. Russell in his book called You Can Get What You Want If You Find It Within Yourself. He suggests that we need to, quote, not hurry, end quote. And I, I love that notion and it has given me great power in the past week to just slow down, to be still and know that God is, and to essentially enjoy the roses, to take a moment to be present, to be where you are when you need to be there to slow down and plod along it's a, a steady moving of plodding you're going to read the definition there's three of them for the word plod to travel or work slowly or with steady laborious diligence two to study heavily with steady diligence three to toil to drudge i love 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 this word my wife and i often reference this word in our lives as i viewed her as the tortoise and i have been the hare especially when you take into connection my bipolar disorder as that it's even more so tempting to have the highs and the lows the fast and take a nap slow burnout etc etc and as i've worked diligently to develop this gift of plodding along and learning it from my wife's talents and acquiring it this phraseology of not hurrying again as robert russell called it and to slow down to be still this is great power and i'm sure it may be unnerving for those who are always on a hurry always on the go 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 always want to talk fast always want to get more said yet there is power unseen when you take a moment and slow down and speak with intention speak with forethought and with power next on the list serve I've been reading a book this evening my wife and I read together most days and I chose to read a book called What All the World is a Seeking, written by a gentleman named Ralph Waldo Trine. It was published in 1899. And in this book, he says the world could change overnight with just one word. The word is serve. And this next one here called The Golden Rule. The Golden Rule, according to Sterling W. Seal in his book called Leadership Volume 1, he he suggests that the world would change in 30 days if we practice the golden rule. So let's bring this all together. Do the work and you shall have the power. Power comes from plodding along. When you set a, a prize or like the turtle and the hare racing, they set a destination or a goal and to get to the end. The hare jumped ahead, way ahead, had more talent, more ability to move quickly and could have easily won the prize, yet became full of pride and perhaps even some exhaustion from running around, prancing around, shall I say, to get there uh, and show his exuberant speed. Whereas the tortoise laboriously studied out and diligently took step by step consistently and won the prize. There is great power in your family when you show up consistently, when you slow down and take a moment to smile, take a moment to love your children and your spouse. Take a moment to soak in their goodness. And when the milk is spilled, you aren't in a hurry to get to the next thing you need to get to. Because when you are present and when you slow down, you feel the presence of that child and you put that child above the hurried state that you're in. And when you slow down, you can enjoy the presence and have practice patience and long-suffering and love unfeigned 
that much easier because you have a space of time to respond. As Viktor Frankl put out, there's a space between stimulus and response. And if you slow down, that space is expanded. And with that expansion comes a moment to reflect on what you will say, reflect on what you will do, reflect on how you will feel. And as you move forward, it will enable you to be full of love and practice the golden rule to do unto others as you'd have them do unto you and to get lost in the service of others that you may be like your master that you may honor him that you may love him and his laws and principles and it's so beautiful when you do that you are filled with power you are filled with fruits you are filled with honor so i'll close with where i began the law of nature is do the thing and i might add plot and you shall have power, power from on high. But if you do not the thing, or shall I add to that, if you do it hurriedly, you have not the power or the power is diminished 